Hey everybody, Laura Fangman here with today's Mash the Button. Um, so you know how much I love giving advice and sharing my opinion, and today is no exception. Uh, interesting little tidbit from this past week. Um, we are now at the beginning of January, and this is the time where you should already have your business plan in place, and you should be all ramped up and ready to hit it hard um, and start implementing all of those things that you were planning for. And you know, it's no exception for me. I've got things in place, um, things that I do on a regular basis, because no matter what it is that you do for marketing, being consistent is the key. And I have been consistent in my marketing. I have neighborhoods that I target and things like that. Well, last week I got a phone call from a lady and she introduced herself on the phone and said, I'm sure you recognize my name. And I said, no ma'am, I don't. And she gave me her address and said, well, I'm sure you at least are familiar with this property address. And I wasn't, and I, I even took a stab, took a guess at what neighborhood that might have been in if it was one of the neighborhoods that I was targeting for marketing purposes, and it wasn't. Um, and so I finally got the story out of her of how she'd come to call me. Uh, she had a property that she was interested in selling, and she had been going to Zillow to look up her property to get value information um, and to get information on how to proceed, and was clicking the button that said, she wanted more information about selling her property. And she said every time she did that, multiple times, she clicked the button that said, I need help selling my house. Within a day or two, my information would appear at her house. And she thought that I was doing that in response to her clicking that button on her computer. She thought that she was somehow missing me and I was stopping by to follow up on her button click and leaving information. And that wasn't the case at all. I was just consistently marketing. I market the same areas month after month, and she could count on consistently my information being available to her at her home. So it was a little bit of a misunderstanding, and now I've got two listings coming up because somebody didn't check their Zillow leads. Somebody out there is paying good money, and it's a great marketing plan. If that's part of your marketing plan, that's fantastic. But somebody out there is paying good money to Zillow for them to send you leads and you are not following up. So A, you're making all of us look bad when you don't follow up on those leads. And B, you're pissing off the people who are now my clients. Stop doing that, it's not nice. So pick a marketing plan, be consistent, follow up, and everybody have an awesome 2017.